Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine Tyler and I'm a college student who lives in sunny Los Cabos, Mexico and I'm obsessed with living a healthy and balanced lifestyle. I'm in the middle of midterm so in today's video I'm gonna show you absolutely everything I eat in a week to feel amazing and as always I'm including my workouts, surf sessions, fun moments with my family, and lots of delicious recipes because I'm extra in the kitchen and I believe that a healthy lifestyle should be accessible for everyone. So sit back, relax, grab a snack, and enjoy this what I eat in a week. I'm gonna keep this introduction short but I just want to tell you guys thank you for all the support you've given me it makes me so happy that you enjoy my what I eat in a weeks and if you haven't yet don't forget to like this video and subscribe because it really supports my channel and remember that I post videos every single week and they're all about living a healthy lifestyle and becoming your best self so yeah let's jump into this video and just remember that a healthy lifestyle should not be restrictive it should be enjoyable and it does not have to be challenging so yeah let's get into this like with all my videos we're starting with a water chug so grab a glass and chug some with me to be honest this is my favorite what I eat in a week that I've ever filmed because yes I was super busy with midterms but I also had so much fun this week hanging out with my family cooking and exercising so yeah this week was super busy but enjoyable for breakfast I made eggs and avocado toast and I loaded the eggs with turmeric which is anti-inflammatory immune boosting and it just has lots of great flavor I served it with a side of steamed spinach and then I saw that my cat had made a mess in the kitchen because somehow without us seeing he ate an entire bird under our table which is so sad but that's nature for you. Then I decided to make probably my most iconic recipe which is brownie granola. It's super clustery and seriously tastes like a brownie and I always serve it on top of my daily smoothie bowls. The trick is to pack the granola super tight then allow it to cool after baking so you get gigantic clusters. And let me know in the comments if you ever do this too but since smoothie bowls are my favorite breakfast and I didn't eat one yet today I had it for lunch instead. I basically rotate between two smoothie bowls every day. This one is my cookie dough nice cream and then you'll see my other favorite which is blueberry nice cream next. Of course I loaded it up with the fresh brownie granola and I also added raspberries which gave me fancy vibes. Then it was time to move my body. If you're new here, I've had a knee injury since January of 2020 which is so long and basically it was caused by me over exercising, under eating, and not listening to my body. My knee recently got worse so I'd only been exercising twice a week but it's my goal to get strong again for next week's surf trip so this week I focused on doing Pilates on five separate days for 30 to 50 minutes a day. We'll see at the end of this video if I achieved that. So after Pilates, I was craving noodles and peanut sauce, so I steamed some veggies and boiled these Pad CU rice noodles before making a single serving peanut sauce. I stirred the peanut sauce into the veggies, crisped up some tofu in the air fryer, which is life changing, and put it all together. This was such a satisfying and nourishing meal, and it was vegan too, which is awesome. I make it my goal to eat mostly plant-based, but I always listen to my body and eat whatever I crave. My family's been binge watching all the Marvel movies again, so that's how we ended the night, and now it's Monday, which means lots of school work. I had three midterms this week plus an essay due the following Monday so things were rough but my cookie dough nice cream got me through the first few hours of lecture. Then it was time to stress bake. Oh, oh, I decided to be nice and made my brother breakfast so if you're more of a warm breakfast kind of person you'll love this blueberry muffin baked oatmeal. I added a dollop of peanut butter in the middle to create a sort of lava cake and Seva is obsessed with this recipe so hopefully you'll like it too. Cool. On the taste test. Taste test? Uh, nah, dude, this, this is the bad lighting. Like, come on. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite for sure of your oatmeals. I made this vegan curry a couple weeks ago and I just defrosted it overnight and I'm gonna heat that up along with the crispy tofu I made yesterday and some plain brown rice. Meal prep saves lives and this curry, veggie, rice, and tofu combination was the perfect quick lunch so I could get straight back to school. I had like three more hours of classes and I listened to them outside which was very refreshing even though it's super hot here in Cabo. Then Seva and I worked out at the same time while listening to a podcast which is always super fun and here he's showing off his weighted tricep dips. Spoiler alert, my whole family is going on a surf trip next week to a tropical town in Mexico, so stay tuned for lots of fun YouTube videos. Before I started my workout, Seva had to show me a TikTok, and then I started my second workout of the week, which was a total body Pilates session. I'm working on my push-up game, and it's not the best, so let's ignore my bad form. I love Pilates because it's low impact, light enough to do every day, but also super challenging. It's also great for my knee injury. Wow, look for our salad. Nasturtiums? Wait. What are they called? I don't know. Edible flowers. We got this huge box of local and organic veggies delivered to our house and there were so many goodies. That's all the kebabs there are? I don't know how many pancakes, probably like 10. Probably like, I don't know, dude. No, dude, he shared like a full recipe. You can do the short stories of Hemingway. We're gonna watch Avengers? Wait, after a shower and 
Jacuzzi. So yeah, those were our random conversations while I made my plate. And now it's Tuesday and this was such a busy and fun day because we went surfing. But first, I woke up at 7 a.m. to go to a reformer Pilates class. I go to a private class twice a week to focus on form and to use the reformer machine. And the other days I work out at home. And if you're new, now it's time to meet my other favorite smoothie bowl, which is blueberry ice cream plus brownie granola, of course. I cannot live without my daily smoothie bowl because it just feels like I'm eating ice cream for breakfast. I'm obsessed. Comment your favorite smoothie bowl recipe because I'm always looking to change it up. <laughs> ah, but anyway, we're gonna make the Rock's famous banana coconut pancakes. Let's do it. After fixing my ring light, I made the Rock's famous coconut banana pancakes for today's snack. What's cool about this batter is that it uses coconut milk, regular milk, and coconut water, which adds such an amazing tropical flavor. Seva loves pancakes, and I'm gonna have to make this recipe more often because he literally devoured half the batch in one sitting, which was 10 pancakes. I ended up eating two pancakes and stacked them up with lots of maple syrup and peanut butter, which is exactly how The Rock serves them on his cheat day. I'll link the recipe I followed in the description box, and I definitely recommend it. For my pride, I need to finish these. How many have you eaten so far? I've eaten like five or six. So ten total? <laughs> <laughs> then I had a few hours of lectures and studying, and on my break, I made a loaded rainbow vegan salad for lunch. I used avocado mash with lemon and salt as a dressing, and I got that idea from Linda Sun. It creates such a creamy texture. Making super colorful meals is my favorite thing to do, and yes, I ate this entire bowl by myself. It was incredible. Before going surfing, I set the timer on my rice cooker so the rice would be ready when I got home, and then we drove to the beach. I felt like an animal whisperer today because all these donkeys were being so cute and friendly. Like this guy just just walked right up to me to say hi. After a long winter of not surfing, the waves are finally starting up again now that it's spring, and that makes me so happy because surfing is a sport that my entire family gets to do together. My mom got this hilarious video of a dog that looked like it had a coconut husk on its back. Very cute and also weird looking. Now let's enjoy a quick surf montage. freezing today so as soon as I got home we all jumped in our jacuzzi and to continue the beachy vibes I made some tuna for dinner. I served it with steamed veggies and the rice from the rice cooker plus lots of lemon juice and red pepper flakes. We're gonna hear amazing guitar right? Mm -hmm. Backstreet Boys. Dinner was delicious and we ended the night with another Marvel movie. Who's excited for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier because I am hyped. Now it's Wednesday and I was craving cookie dough and ice cream. Today was super busy because I had two midterms in one day and I also had three hours of work for my internship but I got through it and I think everything went well. Of course I did a water chug during school because I always forget to hydrate. Then it was time for lunch which was a giant vegan burrito. I heated up some beans, corn, steamed veggies and topped it with avocado and lemon. I also had lots of leftover beans and corn so I ate the rest on the side because it didn't fit in my overflowing tortilla. Then it was time to do some gentle yoga alongside my animal friends. I wasn't feeling Pilates today after yesterday's surf session so I just focused on stretches and I also did some foam rolling. I snacked on pineapple and we got takeout from this new gourmet chicken catering spot for dinner. We ordered lots of lemongrass chicken plus lettuce wraps, sauteed veggies, and potatoes. So delicious and I love that my local restaurants have such beautiful vegetables on their menu. Now it's Thursday so I woke up at 7 a.m. for my second reformer Pilates class of the week and also my fourth total workout of the week. It's honestly been life-changing this week to focus on daily movement and short bursts as opposed to just two workouts a week because each day that I'm active for even just 20 minutes, I feel so much more energized. But rest days are still important, of course. I ate some blueberry and ice cream after my workout and did five hours of schoolwork and then I made a quick citrus dressing because I was craving a huge kale salad, which sounds pretentious, I know, but it's spring, so I wanted one. I de-stemmed kale and chopped it finely 
finely and I mix that with spinach, orange slices, avocado, pecans, and sweet potato. This combination is fire and so refreshing. I had eight hours of schoolwork total today and after that I celebrated by eating yesterday's leftovers which was that chicken lettuce taco takeout. And yeah, that was Thursday and now it's Friday which is the best day of the week and also the day I officially started spring break even though I still have an essay due on Monday which is terrible. I woke up early to get a Pilates workout done and this was my fifth workout of the week so the challenge I set for myself at the beginning of the week was accomplished. I was so proud of myself and I'm really focusing on getting strong before I go on that surf trip with my family next week. For breakfast I was craving eggs and avo toast again and I paired that with some crispy kale which I achieved by sauteing kale with olive oil, garlic, and salt. Super simple. We only had one egg so I added that to my avo toast. Then after all my work was done for the day it was time to bake except not stress bake because most of my stress was gone because it's spring break. I made my PMS cookies which are great for that time of the month because they're loaded with pumpkin seeds and chocolate chips which can help with cramps and they're also great for cravings. I ended up eating two of these cookies as a snack and Seva ate like six of them and they are honestly the perfectly gooey and crispy chocolate chip cookie. Definitely recommend. By the way if you want more recipes and daily updates go follow me on Instagram at Jazz Tyler because I post super frequently on there. Lunch was a quick burrito bowl with a base of beans and corn, sweet potato, and chicken apple sausage with a side salad. I put everything in the same bowl after getting the shot for Instagram and for dinner I was craving something super warming so I made this Italian inspired meatloaf. It had a couple eggs, some flour, lots of spices, garlic, tomato sauce, and fresh rainbow chard from that box of veggies that we had delivered. Like with my granola and my salads, everything tastes better if you get your hands dirty to mix it up. I baked the meatloaf for about 50 minutes and then I served it with brown rice and veggies. As you can see from this week, when I don't know what to eat, I just eat a source of protein with rice and vegetables. It makes getting a balanced meal in so much easier and if you make the protein fancy, it's super flavorful and delicious. And now it's Saturday, which is the last day in this what I eat in a week. I woke up early to get some pictures for a brand on Instagram and then I made a smoothie bowl but this time I made the recipe for my cookie dough and ice cream and added a small handful of blueberries so it wouldn't overpower the flavor and it was so good. Then I did an Instagram collaboration with one of my favorite models named Julia Muniz and she made one of my recipes and I made one of hers. I chose to make her five ingredient brigadeiro which is a chocolate mousse that's typical in Brazil. The main ingredients were avocado and dates and this was fire. It was loaded with healthy fats so it was the perfect healthy snack to feel nourished and satisfied. Then you know it was time to make a giant vegan burrito because that's one of my favorite meals. Just beans, corn, rice, veggies, and sweet potato on an Ezekiel tortilla. I have the feeling that I'll be eating tons of vegan burritos next week on my surf trip and there are no words to describe how excited I am for it. You guys will be getting so many fun videos while I'm there for two weeks. For dinner, I just heated up some leftover meatloaf with rice and steamed veggies and yeah, that's it for this What I Eat in a Week. Love you! We did it and I hope you guys enjoyed this What I Eat in a Week. Thank you so much for all your support. I read every single comment and I try to respond to as many as I can so thank you so much. And yeah, happy spring break if you're on spring break already. I am so excited that I get a little week of relaxation relaxing relaxation and I'm so excited because next week I'm going on a surf trip with my family so expect lots of surf videos tropical what I eat in a days and vlogs it's gonna be a fun time please let me know in the comments what you thought of this video what videos you want to see next especially what videos you want to see when I'm on my surf trip check out my Instagram for more recipes and daily stories because I post super frequently on there and yeah love you guys see you next Sunday